Hi guys, it's Miss Sarah again, and I'm here for the May Crafternoons video tutorial. So for the month of May, we are going to be making lotus lights. So you will find these Crafternoon bags up on the children's floor and also down at the circulation desk. You can pick them up at curbside service or anytime that you come into the library um, while supplies last. So what we're making is this cute little lotus flower light and you can turn it on and it's adorable it has a little twinkly light inside and in the and when it's dark um, you can actually it actually lights up some of the crepe paper around here it's super cute anyway so that's what we're going to be making for the month of May and in your bag you will find instructions a strip of green paper and all the materials that you're going to need for the craft. There are three different colors of petals cut out with little slips in them, uh, two glue dots, the actual light, and your circle that you need for the base of your flower. So that it, it will all be included in your Crafty Noons bag when you come and pick them up. And for this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make them without all of the items that I just showed you already pre-made and pre-cut for you. So if you're making this at home without a take and make bag, um, you will be able to follow these instructions to create your own Lotus Light. Okay, so to make this craft on your own without the take and make bag, you're gonna need a few different supplies. So I have three different colors of cray paper that I wanna use, purple, uh, white, and yellow. You can use any color combination that you think looks nice. And these are all um, a foot and a half long. So measure a whole entire ruler and then another six inches and uh, you'll get the length that you need. So the first thing you're going to have to do with is to cut these into petals is to create a petal template. So I just have a piece of plate. Um, it was a, like a small paper plate and it's just a chunk that was left over from another craft. So some kind of heavy paper or even a, a thin piece of cardboard or something like that that you can use to create your template. Um, and then you also want to be able to use this for the base of your flower as well. Um, so what I have, this is one that I already pre-cut. You can cut it uh, any size you like for your petals, but I just kind of cut it out of this tip part because usually a flower petal has a tip on it. So that's how I use that. And then um, this circle part is going to be the base of the flower and the base of the flower um, is cut, it's just a circle um, cut to the same size as the tea light. So here is the tea light. Um, you can buy these at Dollar Tree. Um, I think you can get a pack of them for a dollar, um, but they're just simple little battery operated tea lights with a little on and off switch on the bottom. Um, and uh, you can get them fairly cheap. There's lots of other stores you can buy them at as well. So all I did was put the tea light on the paper and traced it with my pencil. And then I'm going to cut that out. And then I'm also going to cut out a shape for the petal. So there is my petal shape that I can use, and here is my base of my flower. So the next thing you need to do for the base of the flower is you're going to want to punch a hole in um, the center. So I just have a single hole punch right here. I'm just going to kind of guesstimate where the center is and go ahead and punch that hole in there. And the reason I'm doing this is so that when you, you're, when you create your flower, you're going to glue it down to this base. And then after it's dry, you'll be able to slide it over the top of the candle and um, then your flower will be coming off of this and it'll look, it'll look like this. So this is this part right here is my flower petals and they're glued onto my circle base that 
no one will see because it's covered up with your flower petals. So that's why we punched the hole in it. So once you have that done, you can set the circle and the tea light aside. You're not gonna need them again until your uh, petals are dry. So we'll set them over here. Um, so one quick way that I learned, that I figured out how to make the petals was uh, I could cut them all out at the same time because the crepe paper is fairly thin. So you can go ahead and put your petal on your crepe paper and then you're just gonna fold it back and forth. I don't know if you can, if you can see what I'm doing, how I'm folding it back and forth there to the same width every time because I know that I can fit at least one petal uh, size in that width of crepe paper. And you wanna have at least eight folds. Um, for the instructions that you can print out online, um, I have each crepe paper petal, there's eight of each color. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this one actually gave me nine uh, from how tight I folded it. So you just lay your petal right on top and then using your scissors, you're just going to cut around the petal while the petal template while you hold your crepe paper tight. All right, so there are all of my yellow petals. So the last step for each pack of petals is to cut a slit right here in the bottom. So I just cut them all together at the same time and I can set those aside and do the other two colors. So I cut uh, all three packs of petals and in all three colors I have um, a slit cut in the base of each section um, and now I'm going to show you why we did that. So what you can what you're going to need next is some regular school glue or you could use a glue stick if you have a glue stick. Um, I'm going to move the green paper out of the way because we're going to need that later. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little dab or a little line of glue right here on the inside of one of the slits. So then we're just going to lay this one over top once we do that and it makes it, it gives it a little bit of a curved appearance um, and just allows the petal to look more uh, curved and, and focus its way up so that when once we start gluing them down on here they'll kind of fold up instead of laying flat like this they'll arch up like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start gluing my pebble pieces together. So again you're just going to take a little tiny line of glue might be a little more than I needed and then you're going to fold this side over top of this side and just kind of set it down and let it dry. And you can see how this piece is folded up and this piece is more flat. So we're just going to do that with every petal of all three colors. So now we have all of our petals. Um, they've been sitting here to dry. They're still a little bit tacky, but not too bad. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to glue them to the base. So it doesn't matter which side you use of your circle. We're just going to start out by taking our glue again. And we're going to make 
uh, a circle on the farthest outside ring edge of the of the circle. So we're just gonna put a line of glue all the way around. And you might need to add more glue as we put the as we put the petals down because they do overlap a little bit. Um, and you want them all to stick together. So when I um, was designing mine, I really liked it to have the um, purple on the outside, but you can do whatever pattern or layout that you like. And I'm just taking them, uh, each petal, and just kind of overlapping it a little bit and pressing it down into the glue. I can see I have enough room for a one more petal right here, but I want to kind of overlap it with the first one. So I'm going to put a little more glue here on this one. And a little glue here on this one so I can fit both of my last two petals on there. So we'll do one here. Just put a little bit more glue down here. And we'll lay this last petal into place. All right, this one doesn't want to stick very well when it's overlapping, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more glue right here on this petal. And you can just kind of tack it down however you think it needs, wherever you think it's a little bit uh, loose. Um, if you think it needs more glue, go ahead and add a dab more glue. And you can see, because we curved those petals a little bit, that the flower is reaching upwards and not just laying flat with the petals. And so it makes it look more like a lotus flower whose petals curve upwards. All right, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing with the next two colors of cray paper. Um, and then we're gonna set that aside to dry. So here is our lotus flower. As you can see, I left the circle in the center open because um, once this dries, we have to be able to slide it over top of the candle uh, light. So um, now we can set this aside and let that dry and work on our next step, which is preparing our light. So set that over here. And next you're going to need a piece of green paper. You don't need a piece of paper this big, um, but this is just what I had lying around, so this is what I'm going to use. So the next step is we are going to cut a strip of paper um, long ways to wrap around the outside of the tea light. Um, you can see from the example one, I have this one right here, it just wraps around this outside edge of the tea light. It can be a little bit taller or a little bit shorter. You can see it kind of hangs over the edge on this one. That's okay. Um, we just going to try and get it close. That's all. So that will be the base of our flower. So um, what I did was I just kind of lined the bottom of the tea light up with the bottom of the paper right here. And I just kind of made a mark right here at the top of the tea light. And I did that in a couple different places on the paper. And then I'm going to take my ruler or you can use a straight edge if you have um, the side of a book or the side of another piece of paper. You can even use the piece of paper that you have. You can fold it up against the edge and draw your line across. Um, so whatever you have to use as a straight edge. You can go ahead and do that if you don't have a ruler. And I'm just lining it up with the three lines that I have right here and the edge of the paper. And I'm just going to draw a line all the way down. It's not exact 
that's, that's okay. It should be enough to cover the, the bottom of the tea light. I'll go ahead and cut that strip off. Okay, and now um, using, if you have the take and make kits that you picked up at the library, there's two glue dots in here. If you don't have glue dots, you can go ahead and use your regular school glue. Uh, you can use double-sided sticky tape. Uh, you can use a glue stick if you want. Um, so all you're gonna do is um, you're gonna put the glue on the outside of the tea light. I'm gonna go ahead and use these because I have them sitting here. So here's my glue dot. I'm just sticking it anywhere on the outside edge that we wanna wrap that paper. Peel the plastic off. Um, you can kind of see the glue dot there, a little circle. And I'm going to stick my paper right on top of it. And then I'm gonna take the other glue dot. Now, if you don't have glue dots, you're just gonna wrap it. But I'm gonna take this other glue dot and I'm gonna stick it on the edge of the paper here and peel this plastic off. So you have a glue dot here, and we're just going to wrap it around the outside of the tea light and keep going all the way around until I run out of my green paper. And then I'm just going to stick it down. Press it on there. Now if you use regular glue, uh, you might want to hold it for a couple seconds until you're sure that it's not going to pop off or you could um, maybe set it on the seam and kind of hold it down until it dries um, just so the green stays on the tea light. So now that that piece is finished, we have one step left and it is adding the flower. So mine is still a little bit damp um, depending on how much glue you use. It might take a little bit to dry, but I'm just gonna show you what you're gonna do with it once it's dry. You're going to slide the light through the center of the flower, and then you can turn your tea light on, and you're finished. You can just enjoy it. And that's it. We have our cute little tea light lotuses. I hope you guys enjoyed making this craft. I hope you can find a space in your house to uh, set this out on display so people can see it and create some fun ambiance in your home or your bedroom. Um, you can give it away as a gift to friends and family. I think they'll really enjoy it. It's a nice spring craft to have around your house. Um, simple and easy. Uh, if you are looking for more tween activities, you can go to www.barbertonlibrary.org slash tween. Uh, for the month of May for Tween Tuesdays, we are doing cooking for tweens. So there are four easy recipes uh, that you can make at home by yourself or with a little bit of a help from uh, an adult. And if you like these videos or any of the other videos that we have on our Barberton Library YouTube page, please like and subscribe. See you guys again.